Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 6.45 in the evening on Sunday, November 21st, 2021. 6.45 p.m. Sunday, November 21st, 2021. And we have, uh, let's look at uh, what happened since our last video that we put out. And we will go over there. This was our last warning. We had a warning for Southern California right down here near uh, San Diego to the Salton Sea. And here's what happened. We had a bunch of quakes, including this one right here, 3.2. But most of the action, as you can see in the, uh, in the graphic map here, was uh, the risk was down near the border. And that's where we got all the action. We had a, uh, a 2.5 here, but a 3.2 south of San Diego, 3.0, 3.3. And then a bunch of very significant earthquakes down here, 4.2, 4.4, 4.5, 4 and 4 and 4.1, all down here just south of the border. And that's where the risk was, down here near the border. Now, let's look at the, uh, the current forecast. Um, this is the uh, situation right now. And we've been talking about the risk building in San Francisco over the last month. And we are getting very, very strong signals now out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, the risk still, or the warning still is from San Francisco Bay to northwest of Los Angeles. However, these signals are right very close to San Francisco down to Santa Cruz in San Simeon as well. So we have a, uh, here's the warning here. Earthquake risk is rising rapidly in the San Francisco Bay. Major earthquake is likely major earthquake is likely near Santa Cruz to San Simeon. So the highest risk is from Santa Cruz down to San Simeon. However, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow and the next day, so uh, the 22nd and 23rd, we'll get some more information on this. But when the uh, when the risk is this high, the strong earthquake could hit within 24 hours. So you have a very very high risk in the San Francisco Bay. And uh, sometimes we say major earthquake is possible, but this is uh, definitely likely. We've got a huge amount of risk in the San Francisco Bay down to Northwest LA and the highest again from Santa Cruz down to San Simeon. So California is, is likely to get a very strong earthquake during the next six days. Most likely we have a, a a peak and risk coming up tomorrow evening, uh, a burst of energy that should release uh, part of the, uh, the, the uh, energy, a portion of the energy, and then um, a much stronger release of energy coming up, I think on the 25th or 26th. We'll have more information on that tomorrow. But during the next six days, a major earthquake is likely in California, most likely between San Francisco Bay and, and Los Angeles. Uh, northwest of LA, but the highest risk again is in the San Francisco Bay down to uh, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz to San Simeon is the most likely spot for this major earthquake during the next uh, six days, most likely again on late on the 22nd or the 25th, but we'll get more updates uh, tomorrow as well. All right, let's look at the, we also have a uh, situation in uh, the near uh, Japan. Let's look at the Japan forecast. Right here near Sendai, Japan, uh, just northeast of Fukushima, we could get a 5.5 earthquake during the next uh, 24 hours. That earthquake risk is uh, spiking there near Sendai and Fukushima. So if you live in Japan, look for a significant strong earthquake. 5.5 is likely northeast of Fukushima and east of Sendai and southeast of Morioka in Japan. Alaska's earthquake forecast. There's a very high risk down here near the Kodiak Island. So during the next 36 to 48 hours, looking for a strong earthquake near Kodiak Island, southwest of Anchorage, right near uh, Kodiak Island during the next uh, 36 hours. All right. Let's look at the uh, Italy. This risk has been building across Italy for the last couple of weeks. And now 
this trigger that's coming up uh, during the next 24 hours should release that energy. Um, Umbria, I believe, is the province where it, where it could hit there, Perugia and Umbria. But here, right in this uh, red area here, the dark red is the most likely spot for it to hit during the next 24 to 36 hours, looking for a significant, uh, maybe a 5.0 large earthquake in this dark red to red area here in Italy. Uh, so if you have friends that live in that area, be sure to warn them about that. Uh, and in Greece, we could get a 5.0 earthquake here in Southern Albania, Western Greece here. And there's a high risk down near Crete as well. So pretty busy during the next uh, 48 to uh, 72 hours. Let's look at the, uh, uh, the California forecast once more here. And looking for a major earthquake during the next, uh, next six days. And there's a, a spike in risk coming up on uh, late on the 22nd. Of course, it could hit any time in the next six days and this a major earthquake here, but most likely on late in the 22nd. And then again, on the 25th, there's another spike in risk. We'll have more information on that tomorrow, but this is the risk area right now, right now uh, in the San Francisco Bay, very high risk in the San Francisco Bay down to Santa Cruz, San Simeon. Again, this quake could, it get, could occur in uh, the area Northwest of LA as well most likely to hit right in the San Francisco Bay Area. All right. And let's go back to the front page here. Oh, here it is. All right. Thank you again for joining us tonight here at QuakePrediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. Uh, for a, look, a closer look at all the maps, you can go over to QuakePrediction.com and check out the forecast maps uh, and look at your forecast area more closely. And uh, we've been forecasting uh, for Japan with this new forecast model has been working extremely well over in Japan. And we've been implementing that across uh, Italy, Greece, and California and Alaska. And uh, which the accuracy rate should go up significantly uh, we were at, uh, a while back, we were in the spring, we were at 165,000 followers. We're at 184,000, 184,000 followers now uh, on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. 184,000 followers across the world. And thank you very much to every one of you. And please stay safe in uh, the San Francisco Bay Area, area during the next uh, six days. Most likely to hit on the 22nd or the 25th. And in uh, Japan, up near Sendai, Japan, in Fukushima, strong earthquake is likely there. And uh, in the Umbria and Perugia area of Italy, looking for a strong earthquake in, uh, in uh, central Italy during the next 36 hours or so, and in uh, Western Greece. So please check those maps out over quakeprediction.com and stay safe there in San Francisco Bay in California, looking for a strong earthquake coming up in California during the next six days, most likely in the Santa Cruz to San Simeon area. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Thank you so much.